Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're diving into level 80 to 99 for the new season of Pirate King's Adventures against Meathawk. And in today's video, we're taking all of the anniversary characters, we're slapping them on a team, and we're just sort of diving in with Roger as a lead, so that way we can build up some EXP, but bringing the three new Super Sugos, so we can actually just get as much damage output as possible. Now, this particular team will be a great team to farm with once you hit level 150. You can basically just go back, farm level 90, and you can just make your way through your rewards, as well as getting as much EXP as possible. But, on turn 3, Three, you are going to come up against Mihawk and two mob units. Mihawk binds your captains for six turns, so three after sockets, and gives you a full board of block orbs. He also special reverses your middle row by three turns. So that's where the Mistum support comes in on Luffy. It's a great support, giving you three turns of cooldown. Ace is immune to, to special reverse. Luffy can remove the bind, and then he gives you a two-turn attack boost. This two-turn attack boost is very crucial, because on turn four against Don Krieg and Gin... They're going to give you a 1.1 times attack boost and a 1.1 times orb boost for three turns. They also have a recovery orb barrier for two turns on Gin. They have five turns of threshold. And on defeat of Don Krieg, you actually take 30,000 damage. So you do want to try and tank that shot. Having the carry over the attack boost from Luffy blocks the attack boost, which is perfect. Because then Roger, he can actually give you a two-turn attack boost, a two-turn color affinity boost, and then extend it with his super EX. We're going to remove the barrier with Shanks. We have Zoro's double special activation, so make sure you li limit break him. So that way you can get access to the two, uh, sorry, the five turns of threshold removal. And then you get three turns of a chain boost at 1.1. This is very crucial because on the final stage, you are going to need the three turns of chain boosting ability because on the final stage there is an attack down when you're below a 3.49 times chain so be very mindful of that um you can't use a chain boundary or an attack boost so having roger carry that into the final stage is awesome um and then having a rush ability of any of the new units just to get you above that chain is going to be great. There's four turns of defense up on the final stage too. You get a full board of empty or block orbs as well. So utilizing the second Roger on the final stage to the defense light works great. We have Ace to give ourselves a conditional boost as well as increase the color affinity. And from there, we're pretty much off to the races. I'm going to use Shanks' as rush purely because Shanks buffs Roger. Um, so does Ace, but like no one is buffing Shanks with their rush, so just want to use him first for a little bit of type advantage, and then you can sort of tap into the Super 10 of Roger, and this team, look, it does so much damage, it'll easily kill level 90 without any issues whatsoever. So that's level 80 to 99, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff, most importantly, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day, as always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!